Uh, in this video, we shall download the JDK. Uh, the JDK is needed by Tomcat, uh, by Eclipse, and by our uh, Java running environment. And we shall configure it as well. We will do uh, a Google search for JDK download, and then we will head to Oracle, where we'll look for the needed download. We are now at the Oracle website. We must accept the license agreement. Then look for your version, your window operating system version. Mine is 64-bit. So uh, I will click the corresponding link. Soon my uh, download will start. And you'll see it there on the left-hand side. Once this is done, we shall start uh, installing and configuring the JDK. I've put my JDK, as you can see, on the desktop. So double-click on that, uh, run it. It's preparing to install. Now I start installing. Uh, personally, I leave everything to default. I install everything on my C drive. Um, the JDK will also install the JRE as well, so you will have the JDK and the JRE installed. And you can see now it's attempting to install the JRE. Now I've uh, personally trimmed this video, it might take a bit longer to do this. And you keep going. Now you see 3 billion devices run on Java, now it's about 3 billion and I don't know how many of you, but 3 billion and 1. Now here don't press next step, that's successfully installed. Just close it because the next step will take you to, to some marketing website. Now we will set up our class bars and uh, the environment variables needed by Tomcat and Eclipse. Uh, let's see uh, our installation uh, on the C drive. You go on the program files, then Java, and here, here they are, uh, both of them. Now. Uh, the first one is a JDK, and uh, uh, because it has a compiler, if you see the Java C is in there, here you go. But if you look under the Java, uh, the JRE, because it's just a running environment, uh, you will see some of the, you will see the the, the Java uh, uh, engine, the, J, the JVM here, but you can't see the compiler. So uh, we need to, we need this path because the variable will point to these directories here and we need both of them, we need the bin and also we need uh, uh, this one as well, uh, uh, the main directory so I'm, I'm copying and pasting those in a text file I should, uh, for the GRE7 and as well as for the JDK and I've pasted both of them uh, in a notepad as you can see here now I, will, uh, I, shall, I shall move that to the side uh, I will close um, uh, the Explorer. Now, cl right click on Computer Properties and click on Properties. I click on Advanced Setting here. And you've got the System Properties there open. If you look on, under the Advanced advanced tab, you've got the, uh, the Environment Variables. Now here we'll create two variables pointing to our directories. Uh, the first one we'll call it uh, Java underscore uh, home and um, uh, for that one we're going to copy this guy the JDK uh, uh, string that points to our uh, directory there our JDK directory and we'll paste that here so this variable now is equal to this and say OK uh, we'll create another one and this one we'll call it um, uh, JRE Home. And uh, in this one, we are going to copy and paste the JRE string that points to the JRE folder. And that'll be here. So we've got both of them there. And um, now there's one final things to do is the cloth pass. So uh, let's edit that. And in there, uh, the way to do this is I'm going to copy all this up to here and I'm going to go into my cloth pass and add it after after the semicolon there and uh, or you can type it manually if you prefer and that should do that should be all right let's double check make sure everything's okay yes it is and uh, we say okay and click okay and uh, now uh, our variable are set. 
uh, I'm not sure whether we have to reset this, to restart the system or not. Uh, I found that sometimes we do need to do that. Uh, let's run a quick check. So open the DOS command, type Java, and yeah, you can see uh, Java has responded. And if we do Java CE, Java C, sorry, the compiler, everything seems to work. If you don't know how to open the command window, you go on to you go under. Uh, it is open any folder there, click here and just tap run, uh, sorry, tap command there, cmd command, and that takes you there. Um, and if you do Java here, it should be recognized from anywhere. That is because uh, our system is able to see, to see, to recognize this command, because first it looks in the local directory, if it doesn't find them, then it looks in the path, and if it finds them, it, uh, it goes to the directory and run them. If it doesn't find them there, then you get an error. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, now we've successfully installed the JDK and the running and the Java running environment. And, the, and uh, in the next tutorials, we shall be we shall proceed with installing uh, Tomcat and MySQL, then Eclipse. Uh, bye for now.